Good morning, Miss Tiffany's class. It's Miss Mary Jane and happy Thursday. I'm so excited that spring is here and I am ready to take a field trip. Are you? Guess where we're going today. I'm going to give you a hint. You're going to need a hat. You're going to need sunglasses. You're going to need sunscreen and you're going to need a beach cover up and a bathing suit. Have you guessed? Say it a little louder. Yes, we're going on a field trip to the ocean, but not just any ocean. We're getting ready to go to Hollywood, Florida to the ocean. So put your sunscreen on, get your hat on and your sunglasses and sit back and enjoy the field trip. When we get home from the field trip, we have some work that we're going to do. We're going to do the learn to rescue safely sheet that I sent home with um, on Google Classroom, as well as I sent home another sheet. Look before you leap, and we're just going to go over these two items. All right, I can't wait to see you at the beach. See you soon. Hi. Hi. I'm Penny. I'm Penny. I'm Robin from Hollywood Beach. These are the Kid Base and VPK kids, and we're here today for a beach day. Great, great. First thing we have to do is make sure everybody's safe. I see. Do you have your sunscreen on? Yes. And next, do you have sunglasses? Yes. And hats? Yes. And sandals? Yes. Great. What else do we need to be safe at the beach? I brought an umbrella so that we can have shade. And water. And water. Great. Good idea. Very good. Well, come on, let's go to the beach. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. I'm a Hollywood Beach lifeguard. I just want to show you some of the devices that we have that we use during rescues. We have our standard orange buoy, which all lifeguards carry with them on a rescue. We have our ATV, which is not only do we use on the beach to enforce the rules, but it allows us to get to a rescue very quickly on the beach. We have our rescue board, which is a long board. This is used for a multiple victim rescue, usually one, two, three, four, however many it could be. And then we have our jet ski, which is for usually if the rescue is very far out, or if there's a boat that is in distress with people on that need help, the jet ski is a very good tool for getting there very quickly. And just remember, when you come to the beach, always swim near a lifeguard for your safety. Thank you very much. Ah, no problem. Thanks My for pleasure. keeping us safe. Double red, this is the no swimming flag. 
And we use this with the other red flag when there's lightning. It means no swimming and clear the beach and seek shelter. There's a lightning storm. So if you see that flag flying on top of a lifeguard stand, what do you do? Clear the beach. That's clear right. the beach. You're and so the smart. Water. That's, That's right. right. Very good. Get out of the water. Now I have a question. It is a beautiful day today. What color flag do you think they should be flying green. today? Green. Very good, and we are. Yay. We're flying the green flag today. Have fun at the beach. Great, we get to go play at the beach. It's a green flag day. Let's go. Here we go. You have fun at the beach today? I hope you learned a lot. You know that you always swim where the lifeguard is and you look at the flags. When I go to the beach, I always ask about the tide. I'd like to know whether the tide is coming in or out. And you also have to be very careful for the ocean currents. And of course, you need to go in the water with an adult watching you, not just the lifeguard. and welcome back to the classroom. If you could take out um, the two sheets that I sent through Google Classroom, learn to rescue safely, as well as the look before you leap sheet. And I wanted to go over with you some items that you can use to help to reach someone in case they were having trouble in the water. So the first question right here is, Draw a circle around the helpers, helpers you can use to reach. And then how many did we find? Okay, so let's talk about this. If someone was in the water and needed help, would you be able to use a board to reach them? Yes. How about would you be able to use a stick? Yes. Or a branch? A bicycle? No way. How about a hand? Possibly, yes. How about an oar to a boat? Yes. Sneakers? No. So how many did we find? One, two, three, four. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put the number four up here on the line. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Draw a circle around the helpers you can use to throw. How many can you find? Can we throw a rescue ring to help someone? Yes. 
How about a clock? Is a clock going to help anybody in the water? I don't think so. What about a life vest? Absolutely. Could we throw a beach ball if they were really in trouble and something wasn't around? Yes, because they could grab on it and try and float. How about an ice chest? I'm really not too sure about that, so I'm going to go say, going to say no. I think that the inner tube would be a good choice. So I am going to circle that. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four. Am I seeing a pattern? Maybe. Now let's draw a circle around the helpers you can use to row. Okay, can we use a raft to row? Yes. How about a surfboard? Absolutely, lay on your belly. An inner tube? Yes. A camera? No, but it certainly would be fun to have a camera at the beach. A rowboat? Yes. An air mattress float? Yes. Find one, two, three, four, five. Five things. So the pattern is broken because it was four, four, and then five. If you can't reach, throw, or find an adult to row, always yell and call 911. Look before you leap sheet out. Now, this is just going to be something that we can discuss. Sometimes when you jump into the water, you have no idea if it's not crystal clear what's below. So you need to think safely and know whether the water is deep enough for you to jump into. Do you ever dive into water that you don't know anything about? Never, ever. But here are some things that could be lurking that could be dangerous if you just jumped in. Basically, the majority of the items in this picture are dangerous. I wanted to talk about this. Look at this. If this big log was floating in the water and you jumped in, you could get really hurt. A can at the bottom with the top stuck up or a bottle, glass, you could get hurt. Look at this can. This could have some sharp edges. Dangerous. What about a big sharp rock? Not a great idea. Some people even put their fishing poles, they just accidentally fall over. So we always need to look before we jump in the water. And of course, we need to have an adult. Let me show you the answers that I've come up with on our sheet. I've circled the log, the stick, the bicycle tire. Of course a shark is dangerous, but is a shark in a lake? No. Look at the garbage down at the bottom, the rocks, the fishing rod, but what's really important is the current. That is something that sometimes you can't even see that it's there, or sometimes a current can come up really quickly. So it's always important to pay attention before you enter the water. And if you don't know anything about the water that you're jumping into, you need to ask someone. And do we dive? Never, ever. All right, boys and girls, have a great day. Bye. Hope that you have a great day. I look forward to seeing you today at 10 o'clock on our Zoom call where we're going to make a jellyfish. Okay, see you later. Bye.